Hello and welcome to my review of the Acid Rain B2.5 Stronghold, the ST2E Stealth Stronghold, and the B25 uh, Speeder Mark 1E. Now both of these you see come in nice boxes protected with plastic. Uh, you see from the boxes there's no actual artwork, there's only actual photographs of the toys, which is fine. If you can see what you're getting inside there, I'll show you the stronghold a bit more. One thing I will say about these is the boxes feel particularly light, especially the uh, speeder. It actually feels like you've got an empty box there, but rest assured it's not empty. Now I have opened one of these each before, and I'll show you those in a moment, but I'll open this up and you'll see what's inside. So let's look at the uh, stronghold first. It's taped on one side, plastic. Defeated by silicone. Okay, there we go. Get the box out, put that back to the side, get a better look at the, the box there. And from the back you can see that the stronghold is actually quite poseable. Okay, the box also taped with those circular sellotape seals on the edges. So I'm going to that off too, there we go. And inside you've got this plastic casing. There's the contents here. So the two arms, the main body, the tracks and the little mat. With the Stealth Stronghold and Stealth Speeder there's an empty part. There's no connectors to help join different size arms to the to the toys or any weapons for the small guys in these uh, Wave Zero releases. Okay, this plastic is actually taped on four sides and it has these little plastic nodules which are connected to each other too. So you need to remove the plastic from the four sides first, or at least three sides to get it open. Okay. In fact, I do have here, like I said, scissors making it easier. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. It doesn't actually need to be sellotaped because it's very secure. There we go. toy itself. Now, as I said, I have unboxed one previously, and here is a stronghold in robot mode. It does have very nice articulation, including the arms, the hands. You get uh, knuckle and finger articulation. The fingers is, you have a uh, thumb, one finger, then you have two fingers combined, and they articulate from here and the knuckles there so you can actually do a quite a nice fist like this or if you prefer you can have a fist with the thumb coming more like so very very uh, well articulated for such a small toy now what some people may not realize you have this already you can actually remove this part here now the cockpit does open from here also the glass it says glass plastic type thing opens too, but not very far because this gets in the way. But you can remove the plastic bits from the side, these here, and once you've got those removed, this just slides off and then you can open. You also see the holes here for connecting the other weapons that you'll get in future releases and the men do fit inside quite nicely though as with the uh, normal range the 3.75 inch range sometimes can be tricky to fit figures inside of mechs, mechs. okay so just put these back on what's this like the 
closability, as I said, is actually really quite good for something so small. So I'm quite impressed with that. Um, it actually grows in you. At first, you think, yeah, but then the more you use it and the more you have a little play and, a, and so forth, the more you think, actually, this is actually quite cool. The legs do have some really nice posability. They can go quite far out. Now, one thing you should note with this is if you go to a certain degree on the outwards with the legs, like here, then it will get stuck here, coming back in. Now, I just need to push that slightly, then it will go back like so. It's also quite stiff on some of the ratchet joints, so watch out for that. Uh, the back has the toe part, so you can put two, three, four strongholds together. So if I take out the body of the other one, uh, there is, if I was to pull it down, a part on this to connect to as well. So that would be on the legs. So this is attached to the previous stronghold. The one following, I can have a convoy going there. Okay, the waist turns on a ratchet as well, very satisfyingly, which is good. There is one thing to watch out for though, um, when you're doing the transformations on the stronghold, uh, and it might be difficult to see on camera, let's have a look. Okay, there's, um, I'll show you on this stronghold. So if you look here, there's a tiny piece of plastic just by my finger here. This actually slots in to the legs when you transform it to keep it secure in place. Now, the, the fit is not as accurate as I would like. And if you look on this one, which has been transformed a few times, maybe you can not see there, that there is some stress marks on the plastic where you're trying to push it back in. So what about the transformation? Is it easy? It's relatively easy. It's not difficult. Just getting it all to fit nicely in place is, is not as easy as perhaps it could be. But on this scale, you can't complain. So these will go back first of all. Uh, you must, must put your um, the hands down and they fit nicely like so. So this one goes back. Hands will slot in. Slot inwards. Sorry, wrong way. Downwards here. Okay, so this is the first part. Next, this is quite stiff. This must come upwards, but it's quite a stiff lock sometimes. That wasn't too bad that time. <coughs> the tracks come together. The tracks don't move, by the way, but you can't really expect that on something this small, especially with the articulation they've put. This part will come flat. And then everything else will need to slot into place. Now this is the difficult part. There's quite a few things that need to come into place for this to actually fit nicely. So plastic knobs here will go into the track sections as well. Okay, there's one. Okay, this part is now in. The second one. Is this fitting, constant fitting in here, which puts the stress on the actual plastic, so you must be quite careful with this because you'll get wear and tear. Sometimes this one's a bit of a struggle at the moment to do. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. Okay, so with the arms, they will come up and down. The little stronghold part, like in the big toy, will just fold over once you have that all flat and lock into place here. Same with this one here. That will lock into position here once it's all flat and in place. Now this is not completely done because I haven't managed to lock this side in yet. Now if it wasn't for the recording then I would do it, but basically that is the transformation there and it's quite nice, it's quite satisfying. It's uh, like I said, not as easy 
as it could be because of these little um, tags you've got to get into the slots which I'm struggling with at the moment so that is the stronghold there and I'll sort that out, that side out a bit uh, a bit later so what about the figures? well, very pleasingly the figures are quite nice now please ignore the gun and the walkie talkie they are from a, a fake Lego set but they are compatible which is nice with this scale. Now one thing you may notice with the figures is that the the arms come off easy, the hands come off easy, the feet come off, everything comes off very easily which is quite nice for some things. You can take the armor off, you can take the waist band off. Now the problem with the feet is whereas the way they're quite loose, some positions it will just fall over or the feet will just move by themselves because they can't support the weight of the figure and it will fall. Now what you can do to solve that, if I take out this new figure here, okay, so this one here, I'll have a quick look at it, okay, so this foot is not so bad, this one's a bit looser. If you want to make the figure easier to pose, so it doesn't fall over as much, you can just take off a foot, that's what I, something I've done on this one over here, you'll get a little bit of PVA glue, this is the white glue that I use in schools a lot. Just a tiny bit you need. There's a tiny bit there. Get a toothpick or something small. Just dab some on the end. I mean, this is just like a tiny amount of PVA glue. I don't know if you can see that there or not. And you just go around the inside of the foot hole. And what this will do this will give a this will drive a rubbery like finish and so when you put in the the peg from the leg it has something more to grip against which means it won't be so loose and the figure can hold more poses easier now I'm not sure if you can see this on this camera but you can see the white glue there and that's going to take probably 10 minutes to dry now. I'll take off the one I did previously and it's difficult to see in here because it does dry quite clear but there is PVA there it has helped this figure or both the figures actually to uh, keep poses better and I'll do this to the other one as well Just a little bit on the inside rim of the foothold, and that'll take a little while, and that'll be dry. So, overall, the stronghold, apart from this transformation malarkey going back here, is actually really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. I wasn't sure I would like the uh, smaller scale, but I'm very happy to say I've been proved uh, wrong in this. It's actually very good. And in fact, the more, the more I use it, the more I'm thinking this is actually really, really is a nice, a nice toy. Apart from struggling with this one side at the moment. So what about the speeder? Well, I'll unbox that later off cam and I'll show the one I've unboxed already and I use. Tiny, it feels like it's nothing there. The wheels do spin. Uh, the pilot fits in quite nicely though you have to get used to that position before you actually put him in. The gun does move uh, left, right, down, up, which is good. It's incredibly easy to transform. The canopy does open, so to transform, you need to pull the legs off from the back. You can take them downwards, like this. This is the start of the legs. Then the black sort of ear intakes here come off and they make the back of the feet and then you can get a nice mech like this but if I put a little white background on they can see that slightly easier it is really quite nice now one thing which some of you may have seen in some of the videos of the wave um, one releases which will be coming 
I'm assuming this month or next month. There you go. Now I've got this to slot in properly. And this is one of the nicest features of this uh, B25 Stronghold and Speeder set. I really did this feature. If I just transform this back, uh, the speeder I mean, put it back into speeder mode. So these will again fold back up. This will turn around, it will slot in there. I'll have the man in for this or the man out, it doesn't make a difference. But what you can do, if you look on the bottom, you have these sort of clip here. On the back of the stronghold, you have these bars, so you can basically clip in your speeder. Excuse the cat in the background. You can clip in your speeder to the stronghold, and then very nicely, like this, you've got your speeder attached to your stronghold for easy transportation. Um, I'm not actually sure if you could have this connected the same time as you have a. Um, Another stronghold. I don't think it'd have the space. I think the speed would interrupt. Let's have a look. Uh, no, you couldn't have this speeder and another stronghold. But I might try that a bit later. But I might even try it now. Okay, let me have a quick look. I won't put the arms in for this. So this should slot in about 90 degrees or so. If I remember, oops, remember right, you get the right hole first of all. Okay. Good. Let's have a look with this one, see if there's any easier to do. Okay, now the difficult part is these little clips. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, that was easy, that's easier. Good. It does come with these little plastic parts here, just to protect. Okay, so. Bring this one up. Bring this one in. It's always the second gym more difficult. Anyway, for that, that won't change the. No, you can't connect the two together when you have a speeder attached, which is a shame. Okay, so this is the B2.5 Stealth uh, Stronghold, your ST. 2 I believe it is, ST2E sorry, and your Stealth Speeder, your Mark 1E. These are really nice. There's a lot of playability value in these, there's actually quite a lot of value for posing, maybe doing some scenario stuff with it and dioramas. The, on the Stealth version there's no weathering, it's just plastic colours. You can add that yourself, but they have said on the new ones coming that they have some applied weathering. We'll see how that looks. But as far as these go, these are actually really, really quite nice. Okay, I hope you can forgive my cat for running around, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, subscribe for more updates and more videos.